We're going to talk more about walls. I love the reaction from uh, uh, from all the right people. I mean, in many respects, like the you know, I, I am I am very pleasantly surprised that Walls was picked. Shocked. Although pleasantly Pelosi coming shocked. out was yeah. Pelosi coming out was like, okay, this is actually going to happen, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but honestly, Shapiro is not happy. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, George Bush is uh, a former spokesperson. Sorry that the Democrats didn't do what you wanted. Um, honestly, you know, I, I thought it would be Bashir. It seemed to me to be the safest sort of pick that was out there. Shapiro would have been just an unmitigated, stupid pick. I'm sorry. There was just, I mean, the guy's been governing for, for two years. Um, regardless of what you think he's done, the real question came down to, would he win Pennsylvania? Would he, the difference between him and somebody else win Pennsylvania versus with the cost associated with putting him on the, um, on the ticket? Do you, I mean, rightly or wrongly, let's just step aside for a moment because no one here can control this. And so I'm not even going to put a value judgment on it. I wouldn't feel bad about it, but I, I, about uh, it happening. But the reality is, is that if uh, Shapiro was on the ticket, there would have been protests everywhere they would have gone in the same way that Joe Biden had to avoid college campuses, literally avoid them, cancel college tours, Harris, cancel college tours under the Biden-Harris ticket. That would have happened with these guys. That would have been the story. Anybody from who wasn't blind could see that. That's a reality. You don't get to sometimes say to people, particularly people, you know, who've lost family members, you know, who genocided, um, who, um, who are um, passionate about this issue. You don't get to say, just don't do it, and then they don't do it. It's absurd. It's an absurd thought. I mean, really, I mean, for, for Harris to have picked Shapiro would have had to have been a conscious effort to sister soldier a portion yeah. of the uh, Democratic coalition. And the it's not the best thing of the Walls pick. It would have been the best thing of the Bashir pick would have been that they don't feel like they can afford or they need to, or they're willing to sister soldier a big part of the democratic um, base and activist base. The best part of the walls pick may be that they, on top of that, they went with someone who's going to give a full throated argument in favor of a whole host of progressive policies. And that's great. And uh, for those of you who don't know what, um, well, Dave from Jamaica, Shapiro popularity in Pennsylvania may not be as strong on your examination. 49% and less with independence. For those of you who are younger and don't know who Sister Soldier is, Bill Clinton when he was running for uh, president in 1992 and was trying to shake, he was trying to both have the sort of moniker of being the first black president. That was what they sort of like jokingly referred to him as, uh, but wanted to make it clear that to the extent that he was, had a good relationship with black people, it wasn't with like, the um, Jesse Jackson, <laughs> yeah, the rambunctious ones. And so uh, if I remember correctly, he was doing some show and he either kicked Sister Soldier off or, or like gave her a dressing down. She was, uh, you know, like a, a rap singer. And uh, it was on stage, I feel like. 
and basically just, uh, you know, I can't remember what he said to her, like, don't say those things or, uh, you know, pull your pants up. It was some way of indicating I'm going to create some distance from these people. Yeah. Um, and that has been the tactic, frankly, by democratic politicians and really sort of like people whose tendencies are centrist. Yeah. And that is step off the positions. Don't be a pure extreme. Reject members of your own coalition so that you seem like you are, you know, not extreme. But embracing black people within the Democratic Party is not an extreme position. Embracing LGBTQ people, not an extreme position. It's just normal normal behavior and when you do that like what walls is espousing you you say this is normal you are the weird ones and that's what's i think really uh, effective um it was a speech targeted to jesse jackson who had let her work on his coalition yeah yeah to the rainbow coalition yeah um basically because taking uh uncharitably her comments about the uh, 1992 riots in la uh dizzle mcfizzle here comes old man cedar telling his stories about our past lol i hope to be this cool when i'm in my 40s uh dizzle i've got some very bad news for you about my age <laughs> hey so we all remember the supreme court's ruling on trump's presidential immunity case well get this the leader of the Heritage Foundation think tank has said the second American Revolution will be bloodless if the left allows it to be. All sparked by the Supreme Court ruling on presidential immunity. Well, Ground News found nearly 50 sources reporting on it with zero coverage coming from the right. Why? Well, going through these articles, you can see most of them tie this project to Trump. Like this report from the DCCC writing Trump's so-called Project 2025 manifesto advocates for a nationwide abortion ban, quote, silencing his political enemies and more. With presidential elections not too far away, this is an extremely important story, and you wouldn't know about it unless you intentionally diversify where you get your news from, which is why Ground News created their blind spot feed. It's to surface major stories with little reporting coming from either the right or the left. Our longtime sponsor really simplifies empowering yourself with knowledge so we're fully aware where our information is coming from and how that influences our reporting or lack thereof. An important mission under our current political climate. Best of all, they're offering my viewers 40% off the same unlimited access vantage plan that gets me access to all their features. So head to ground.news slash majority or scan my QR code to help support an independent news platform working towards a more transparent media landscape. Hey folks, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our daily show. We do it every day at 12 p.m. Eastern for about two and a half hours. We even take phone calls. You should check that out.